what's up? It's Kate, back with another video. I know it's been quite a while, but um, I was like, hey, let's film a video because I got a long list of chores today. So I was like, I could, I could probably do this. So I'd like to teach you guys a valuable life lesson. Um, if you don't know this already, it's how to wash like dishes in the sink. Um, I do have a dishwasher, but mom is making me wash the dishes for some reason. But okay. First thing you're gonna do, look at your sink and look at all the dishes and just find the stuff that can go in the dishwasher if you have a dishwasher. If you don't have a dishwasher, just skip this step. But basically, just put those away first. Like this. I will keep one cup out so I can show you how to wash it properly. Um, and I don't feel like trying to put all these things in the dishwasher. I'm just gonna wash them all normal. Because I don't really know how to sit them correctly where they don't fly around, you know what I mean? Yeah, you get it. Um, next thing, you're gonna take your, your um, plug, your sink plug like this. Just like rinse it off. Make sure all the stuff goes down the drain. And also, if you have food in your sink, please wash it down, that's nasty. Um, take, take the, the drain, put it in, get your water, oh wait, get your water hot before you do that. What am I doing? I'm being silly. Also, my water's set up backwards, so that's cool. This is hot, and then this is, no, this is, this is hot, and this is cold. Um, this one probably sounds really loud. I'm sorry. Yeah. I have to iron the clothes after this. I know that's like my most viewed video for some reason. Is ironing my father's shirts. Weird. Weird. Okay, the types of dishes I'm going to be washing. Like the cup. Um, I have mugs too. Can, like, plastic container lids. I have a, a, the thing that you sit your can, your um, spoons on or something at the stove. A fork. More lids. A container like this, this is so gross. That has spaghetti in it. Another container like that. Oh, like inside of a crock pot and like a uh, a pie pan kind of, but like a rectangular and a spatula. Okay. Now, once you get like a little bit of water in there, put the soap like into the water stream and it'll make it foam up. A cloth and get yourself a good old handy dandy rag and I have like the two-sided sink if you don't have a two-sided sink then like just rinse the dishes as you go I guess I, I don't I don't know um, we're gonna start with this spatula no we're not no we're not that wasn't even in the wall what am I doing okay so whenever you finish a dish like you've just washed it Put it in the other side of the sink, but don't rinse them yet because you can just rinse them all at once. So I'm just kind of, you know, like washing that out. Whenever you put spaghetti in these containers, they get so disgusting. It's like, it turns them orange. And you just have to like wipe the grease out. This had, no, this didn't have spaghetti. That had spaghetti. This had an enchilada, I think. Because mom made enchilada with spaghetti in it. That's my lunchbox over there, if you can see it. Just doing that again. Real nice. The lids. Now, I just kind of wipe it if it has anything on it. Just get that off. Another one. Now, this, the, the thingy. I know it has a name. I just can't remember it. Um... Another one of these. Oh, and I'll do a knife and like a cutting board too. Spatula time. There's not much on this. I'm just gonna rub it though. Just rub all over the spatula. Get it real nice and good. Oh, and a and a lid to a crock pot thingy. Get that thing nice and wet. And always wash the outside of the dishes too. Like if you're washing a plate. Wash the bottom because sometimes it gets gross stuff on it and you don't want to be like sitting in on something else in the future. Or whenever you stack your plates, if you do that, it gets... Ugh. 
Just think about that. Like, you're sitting grossness on your plate. Like, with a mug, just kind of... Sometimes if you're drinking, like, tea, it'll get, like, stuck in the bottom, like, the little residue. Make sure you wipe that out, because I don't want to be eating no residue tea. And also, always wipe around the lip of cups and the drinking stuff, because that's where people put their lips. And then a cup. So get in there. Make sure you get anything out of the bottom. Wipe the sides with, like, the side of the cloth, like that. And then do the top. And then the bottom. And next, next, we've got knives. This is a knife that my father made, not my brother. You just kind of, and if it's a wooden knife, sit it like somewhere. Do not put it with the other dishes. You need to rinse that off like first because you don't want the wood to get all messed up and it'll rust. So that's good. And then here is this. This one has something weird on it. I think they were cutting cheese. Cut the cheese, haha. Ha. Ha. Just kind of, you know, get it real good. All right, for the moment, we're gonna stop with that and we're gonna rinse some because the sink over here is getting really full and I have the crock pot under it, so I need to get that out. So you're just taking it putting it under the water and getting all the little soap bubbles off. And this will also reveal if you missed a spot on the dishes. So that's very good. Um, and you can just go back and wipe that off with your rag and soap and then re-rinse it. Just do that for pretty much everything. Cups, make sure you swish it around like this. And then rinse all the rest of the soap residue out because you don't want bubbles in your cup. That's good. And if you have like a, um, a, a dish rack that you like a drying rack, lay them on that. But if you don't, just put like a, a dish towel out and lay them on, or not lay them, like sit them on it in a way that's not going to soak through your whole counter and mess it up. I have wooden counter, a wooden counter over here and then copper counters over there. So I can't put anything on them or else they'll like the stain up and stuff and it's nasty. Wiping out the container. This video is so long. Wiping off this thing. The lids, I'm just rinse those. Another little container. Okay, we're almost to the pot and knives. Oh my gosh, I forgot to wipe the knives first. It's okay. It's okay. Then put them in over here. Now, it's time for the crock pot and the pan and another spatula. Whoa, I didn't know that was in there. Crock pot. Put it in there, get a little bit of water in it. I would probably recommend soaking it, but ain't nobody got time for that. If it's like really like sticky though, but if it'll just come out, then just put some soap in it with the put some of the soapy water in it. And just wipe it out with the rag like this. And if you have one of these and you have really stuck on food, use it because it works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sing a challenge. Yeah, yeah. I win. You give me ten dollars. You lose. You give me ten dollars. Yeah. Spatula, another spatula. Here we go. Oh, my Spanish teacher likes my foldable. She said it was good. She said, muy, bu be muy bien. That means very good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was on Thanksgiving. I told her that I was thankful for my family and stuff. Me for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Case in ninth grade now. I'm 15. I'm not. I'm not 12 anymore, or 13. I don't know how old I was whenever I started my YouTube channel. I barely post anymore. That is so sad. I'll start posting more for you guys if you watch this, because then that'll be sweet. Like, that'll be sweet. 
That would be sweet of me. I know this is very loud. I felt something in here. Yeah, there's another fork. Take the fork. Try to get like, pinch it like that with the cloth so that if the cloth is like moving into the little things, it'll get inside the tines. Cause you don't want, um, you don't want to be having dirty dishes. Next, these um, fancy little glasses. I have to be careful with these. Basically the same thing, just be extra careful so you don't break them. My mother would be very mad if I broke those. This one had like mustard in it, I'm pretty sure. Like we bought it in like that. I'm so hungry. I have not eaten yet. It's 9.17. That sounds so like weird, but I woke up at like 7, so. It's been two hours. I was just like, let me just go do this. Because, you know, you, you feel... You dig? I know you dig. I know you do. This is so sad. I've literally been just talking to the camera this entire time. Oh, I found another knife. Who made this? They forgot to stamp it. I guess we'll never know. That was a TikTok quote. And next, what the heck? My daddy's been drinking out of this glass because I gave it to him the other day because the other ones weren't clean so I was just like I'm not really like washing the dishes right now so I just like gave him that also my water has cooled down so fast like it's cold now okay it's time to rinse rinse in the dishes rinse in Plop that one over there. Whenever you make um, scrambled eggs, um, it's it works better to use this thing. I promise you. If, it, if unless you have like one of those really fancy nonstick pans that like the food just like slides out of, then you should definitely use one of those scrubbies. And then after, okay, I'm almost done. I'm almost done, I promise you. But after I finish this, then we have to wash the sink because we are not gross, okay? So this, I'm just putting water in it, squishing it, getting all the soap bubbles out. And then plopping it on the roof. I haven't washed this yet. Next, we got this thing. Oh, the enchiladas were in here. I was like, when did she bake like a, a crisp? She didn't. She didn't make a couple of other crisps. A, a crisps. Just wash that real quick with my rag, you know. knife in there how come i told you to put do the on um, the the knives first but i've literally done them last every single time so sad if you're we have we have work today we have hybrid work today i thought it was thanksgiving break anyways here is this just wipe that out if it has anything in it because you don't want like moldy food growing in your sink. Then you're going to take your rag and just wipe around your sink where um, where all the, if there's any food in it, just like try to get it to the drain and we'll wipe that. Also, there's a fork back here. What? That almost fell behind my counter. What the heck? gonna wipe that out do the same with the other side or if you don't have two sides just do it with the one side and if you have one of those like sprayer thingies hold on let me show you in a second this thing you're gonna use it to just wash out the, the suds and get everything down the drain
then next you're going to rinse your cloth out pretty good. Not all the way though, like leave a little bit. And you're going to wipe the counter. Like where you, if you got water on it or anything, just kind of wipe it. And also if there's like crumbs on it, it'll make it look clean. And if you're a child like I am, then your, your parents will probably be proud of you. They'll be like, wow, this looks so good. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for washing the dishes. Also, if you want to surprise your parents like, while they're at work, wash the dishes for them, Like, especially like, your mom. like, Or your dad. If your dad washes dishes too, then surprise your dad because they would probably be so appreciative that they don't have to come home from like work to wash the dishes. They can just come home, eat dinner, go to sleep. Like, that would be so sweet of you. Lay your cloth out and then lay it right there. And this is my sink where I wash the dishes out. And I usually sit this like on the little thing next to the the faucet. And there you have it. Um, thank you so much, so much for watching. I am now going to. Oh, I can cough off my list. See, I had to clear the. I already cleared the sink dishes. Not no clear the dish rack and then I, I just cleared the dishwasher before I did this so I can cross that off and I cross off wash sink dishes so now I have to do is iron shirts and pants and fold the, the clothes I hope you learned something today and just just thank you for watching thank you so much for watching I know I don't post much but I'm trying I just keep forgetting and it's really sad but thank you Wow.